The world of cryptocurrencies and blockchain is full of new terms that appear familiar but have been adapted to take on a new meaning, such as mining or token. Words coin and token are often used as synonyms and considered by many people as interchangeable, but they refer to two completely different concepts. What is the difference between these two words? Keep on watching this video to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Crypto Animations, the channel where we explain to our viewers about the different types of cryptocurrencies and everything new investors should know. In today's video, we will talk about the difference between crypto coins and tokens. So be sure to be attentive, because you clearly don't want to miss out on an amazing opportunity to win a giveaway of a $25 crypto coin of your choice. Also, if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss out on any of our uploads. Now with the intro out of the way, let's get into our topic for today. Entering the cryptocurrency market can be a complicated and daunting task. You may have heard of Bitcoin, but what about the other thousands of coins and blockchain projects out there? The word cryptocurrency is now a commonly used term that we use in our daily lives. Most of us know about cryptocurrencies and how they're traded. Some investors even consider investing in it due to the lucrative economic gains and benefits. Even though potential investors must do thorough research on legitimate cryptocurrencies and the market risks involved, it is equally important to understand the technical terms. There is a common confusion between crypto tokens and crypto coins. The difference between these usually comes down to their utility. In the fast-changing sphere of cryptocurrency, the mass emergence of new terms led to misunderstanding and misuse. All coins and tokens are regarded as a cryptocurrency, even though many of them are not circulating as currency and were never meant to be. Cryptocurrencies are classified into coins and tokens. Both coins and tokens have a value attached to them, but they differ in how coins represent their own cryptocurrencies, while tokens require an external resource to back their value. When Bitcoin first came out, it set the standard for what it means to be a coin. There are clear-cut qualities that distinguish crypto coins from tokens, which are similar to real-world money. Cryptocurrency coins were originally created to be used as digital currency. These coins help in paying for different goods and services, which can be used later and divided into fractions of the whole. Some commonly known crypto coins are Bitcoin, Ether, and Dogecoin, and more. A crypto coin operates on the blockchain. The network keeps track of all the transactions that involve the native crypto coin. In many cases, crypto coins are not only used to pay transaction fees through the network, but it is also used to incentivize users to keep the cryptocurrency network secure. Crypto coins have the same characteristics as money. They are fungible, divisible, acceptable, portable, durable, and have limited supply. Most ambitious crypto enthusiasts insist that coins will replace conventional money in the future. Coins usually build an independent infrastructure for themselves. They can decide how they come into existence, detect how secure they are from attacks, manage their supply, record their network transactions, and whom they reward. Crypto coins are decentralized and do not rely on any central issuing authority. They rely on code to manage issuance and transactions. Coins also use cryptography technology to secure the cryptocurrency's underlying structure and network system. It is either built on a blockchain or a DLT, allowing its users to enforce the system's rules in an automated fashion. You can earn crypto coins in two ways. One is through traditional mining on the proof-of-work system. Bitcoin hunters employ this method to boost their earnings. The problem with this is that there aren't that many Bitcoins left to mine, so the process becomes more arduous every day. The other method is proof-of-stake, a more modern approach to earning coins. It's lighter on energy consumption and easier to do. Cardano is one of the most significant coins that adopt this system. Crypto tokens are very similar to cryptocurrencies, but they form a different digital asset category. Unlike coins, tokens do not have their blockchain. Instead, they operate on either crypto coins blockchains, such as Ethereum. Some of the most commonly seen tokens on Ethereum include BAT, BNT, Tether, and various stable coins like the USDC. Some tokens even represent real estate and art. This process of creating tokens and assigning value to them is called tokenization. Generally, crypto tokens are programmable, which means that they run on software protocols that are composed of smart contracts that outline the features and the functions of the tokens and the network's rules of engagement. Anyone can participate in the system without the need for special credentials. Like coins, tokens are decentralized and run on the rules predefined by the network protocol. 
Tokens occupy a unique corner of the cryptocurrency market where they function as utility tokens within an application's ecosystem for incentivizing certain behavior or paying fees. For example, the famous ERC-20 token DAI is part of the Maker DAO dApp on Ethereum. Maker DAO is a way for users to access credit instruments like lending borrowing using DAI, which is designed to be stable. ERC-20 tokens like DAI can be exchanged for any other ERC-20 token or other Ethereum-based standards. A utility token grants its holders access to a company's future product or service before it can be delivered, much like when a bookstore accepts pre-orders for a book that's yet to come out. Because their value isn't directly associated with ownership, these tokens could also be exempt from the laws that will probably be applied to their security counterparts. They can be a popular fundraising method where a company bypasses traditional institutional investors and venture capitals by going straight to its customers. If a user wants to understand the world of cryptocurrency and blockchain, you need to be aware of the terminology and definitions. Token and cryptocurrency are very often used interchangeably in the mainstream, which only adds to the confusion, but at least now you'll be able to discern which is which. While a cryptocurrency operates independently and uses its own platform, a token is merely a cryptocurrency built on top of another pre-existing blockchain. All tokens are cryptos, but not all cryptos are tokens. From the investor's point of view, this is an essential difference because it provides a key measure to assess the potential of any crypto assets. If an investor is analyzing independent crypto with multiple projects, each with its native tokens built on its blockchain, you know it's a reliable product trusted by many developers, increasing your earning potential. The more applications that are built on that blockchain, the better. That doesn't mean it's the only thing you need to look out for, but it's usually a good predictor of the medium-term success of that crypto. Other projects looked at the market and decided it was their best choice, so in a way, you can co-opt their option. So if you are assessing the potential value of a token-based project, it helps if it is supported by a highly respected blockchain such as EOS or Ethereum. The difference between crypto coins and crypto tokens is not too vast, but it might cause massive complexities for the investors if overlooked. The difference majorly lies in what they represent. While crypto coins are essentially digital versions of money, tokens stand for deeds or assets. One simple trick that can be used while the traders decide which one to use is, if it's a product, they most often need to use the crypto coins, but if it's a service, the utility tokens can be used. So, are some blockchains better than others? Sure, you could argue that, for sure. Bitcoin, for example, does not really allow you to make anything on its blockchain. In contrast, Ethereum and Solana's blockchains allow developers to create everything for everything from new tokens and meme coins to decentralized applications. The bottom line is, both coins and tokens are cryptocurrencies. Coins are their own digital currencies, while tokens represent external assets over an existing blockchain network. Coins have their own blockchain, while tokens are created on top of an existing blockchain. Tokens are purchased via ICOs, while coins can be either purchased at exchanges or earned through mining. One more thing tokens are often used interchangeably with the word altcoin. This is incorrect, as not all cryptocurrencies are tokens. The term altcoin applies to coins that aren't Bitcoin. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. Did you know about the difference between crypto coins and tokens? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today and as always, we'll see you in the next video.